Hey guys, it's me again, Mary, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, guys, super excited ako ng i-unbox tong mobile phone na to, kasi alam ko ng ito talaga yung inaabangan yun sa channel ko, and finally I have it right now. So start na natin ng hagdagan kasi ang dami ko ng gusto ng sabiyan sa phone na to. So we will be unboxing the newest Samsung Galaxy A70, and I think kating pinakamahal na A series na lumabas sa atin as of the moment, kasi yung A80, um, thirty five thousand ang alam ko yung price nun pero hindi pa siya available sa atin dito sa Philippines. The retail price of the Samsung Galaxy A70 is 22,990 pesos. And a lot of people are saying that the Samsung Galaxy A70 is just a better version of the Samsung Galaxy A50. And by the way, to those people na hindi pa sumasali sa giveaway natin, meron po tayong dalawang ongoing giveaway. So, we will be giving away the Samsung Galaxy A50 and also the Insex Mini 7S um, in collaboration with Founded. And the Samsung Galaxy A70 is available in four colors. We have blue, black, coral, and white. And the yung color na meron ako is the color white. And it says here na meron siyang Infinity U display, on-screen fingerprint, and also the super fast charging. And yung variant na meron ako is yung six gig of RAM with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. So, meron po tayong smaller box ulit sa loob niya. And, tignan natin kung ano yung mga kasama. So, we have here a free jelly case from Samsung and also the quick start guide and the warranty card. And, natutuwa ako kasi may kasama siyang free jelly case. Sa iba pong country, like we have India, wala po siyang kasamang free jelly case. So, buti na lang meron tayong free. And, of course, we have here the phone itself. Before we proceed, Wow, ito yung color white niya, guys. Um, let's see muna yung mga kasamang accessories. So, we have here a 25 watts charger. And yes, ganyan po yung itsura niya. Kailangan nyo ng adapter. May manonotice kayo na USB-C yung port niya. And we also have a USB-C to C cable. So, ayun, guys. USB-C yung dulo nito na isusuksok nyo sa USB-C port. I think, guys, this is actually the first time na ginawa to ng Samsung yung ganitong klase ng combo. I'm... I'm not sure kung naalala ko kung ginawa nila to sa flagship sa S-series. Pero sa A-series, first time ko makakita ng ganito. And we also have, of course, an earphones from Samsung. And of course, hindi mawawala yung ating panandot, the same ejector tool. Ayan, guys, natanggal ko na yung plastic and this is how it looks like. Definitely, it looks like the Samsung Galaxy A50 that we unboxed previously. Taas ang kamay sa mga nakakaalala na nag-unbox tayo ng A50 at same color pa sila, ba? And yes, yung back part niya, guys, is made of plastic. It looks like glass, but again, it's made of plastic and Samsung calls it a 3D glass tech back. And yung sa sides niya, guys, it's not made of metal. Plastic pa rin siya. And meron pa rin po siyang curved edges, katulad ni A50. So, definitely parang super-sized version nga siya talaga ni A50. Sorry if I keep on comparing them. At least you guys have an idea kung ano nga bang mas worth it bilhin or what phone you guys should go for. A50 nga ba with a retail price of around 18,000 or the A70 na merong 23,000 pesos na price. And what I noticed sa mga lahat ng A-series na na-unbox natin, I think na-unbox naman natin lahat, ba? A80 na lang yung wala. Pare-parehas talaga yung design nila. And it kind of um, bothers me kasi yung ibang brands kapag same series, iba-ibang design at iba-ibang materials. With the Samsung Galaxy A series, as in, iisa lang yata talaga. The Samsung Galaxy A70 has 6.7 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED Infinity U display with 2400 by 1080 pixels. It has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 675 octa-core with 6 gig of RAM and 128 GB of internal storage. It has the One UI Android 9 Pi. And lastly, it has 4,500 mAh battery capacity with 25 watts fast battery charging. Okay guys, here's my first impression with the Samsung Galaxy A70. Definitely, if you are this type of person na may maliit na kamay, katulad ko, uh, medyo mahihirapan kayo na hawakan yung phone one-handed. Kasi ako, kapag magta-type, definitely dapat dalawang kamay. Ang laki ng phone guys, it's it has the same screen size with the Samsung Galaxy S10+. Plus. Anyway, at the back of the phone, we have have a triple camera setup. We have 32 megapixel for the main camera, 8 megapixel naman for the ultra wide angle, and lastly 5 megapixel for the depth sensor. And then sa iba ba ng triple camera setup, meron po tayong LED flash and yung Samsung logo and nothing else. 
And then at the top, we have a single mic. While the 3.5mm headphone jack, a USB Type-C port, a primary microphone, and the speaker grill are located all at the bottom. Along on the left side of the Samsung Galaxy A70, we have naman the SIM card tray and nothing else. No Bixby button, guys. You can put two nano SIM cards and also a micro SD card. And for the micro SD card, it's up to 512 of gigabytes na capacity. And then, of course, at the right part, we have the volume rocker and the power button. Now, for the screen, guys, this is one of the best quality of the Samsung Galaxy A70. This phone has 6.7 inch Full HD Plus with Super AMOLED Infinity U display. And we also have a Drew Drop Notch shape sa ibabaw niya and it houses a 32 megapixel front camera. Now let's try the under display fingerprint scanner ng phone ito. And by the way, optical po siya. Same with the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And it also has a face unlock. So we will figure out kung um, fast and accurate siya. Obviously guys, yung kanyang in-display fingerprint scanner, you have to press it a little longer compared sa mga um, ibang fingerprint scanner. Anyway, optical kasi siya. So, same goes with the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Anyway, isa pang nagustuhan ko sa phone na to is yung kanyang resolution. Meron po siyang 1080 by 2400 pixels. Providing me an excellent viewing experience. So, kung ikaw yung tipo ng tao na mahilig mag-YouTube and also Netflix and gusto nyo malalaki yung screen at gusto nyo pang flagship experience so maramdaman nyo while watching pero pang mid-range phone lang ang budget nyo definitely you will enjoy watching on this phone. Guys, oras na para itry naman yung kanyang camera kung pasok ba siya sa ating vlogging phone and also it's time na mag-selfie tayo tignan natin kung friendly rin ba yung kanyang front camera. If you are the type of person who constantly post selfies and images on social media katulad ko guys then yung front camera might be right up your alley. Super magugustuhan nyo yung front camera ni A70 like what happened to me. Marami siyang features guys na sobrang may enjoy nyo. For example, meron tayong AR emoji and also pwede rin kayong mag wide angle sa front camera niya. And also depending on the setting you choose within the camera app. Yung output niya guys, it will vary from 32 megapixel image to a pixel bend 8 megapixel shot. Also, for the video recording of the Samsung Galaxy A70, it goes up to 4K resolution at 30 frame per second. And what I noticed na medyo na-disappoint lang ako with the A70 is wala po siyang night mode or yung nightscape mode. Yung dynamic range sa video recording is quite poor and you end up losing a lot of details in darker situations. But in all fairness guys, I really did appreciate yung camera ni A70 front and back. Pero kapag ganito kalak ko yung phone. Dito lang ako nahihirapan mag-take ng mga pictures kasi sobrang awkward niya hawakan. And, pero kahit na medyo malaki siya guys, hindi siya mabigat. It has the Snapdragon 675 chipset. Kung maganda siya or kung mabilis siya for your day-to-day -day use like social media, definitely pasok rin siya for gamers. The chipset used on this phone provides a great balance between performance and battery life and that is exactly what I experienced while I was using this phone. And the Snapdragon 675 is an octa-core processor with 6 Cortex A55. And this processor guys, may kita nyo rin siya sa mga phones like the Vivo V15 Pro and the Redmi Note 7 Pro. The the phone runs on Android 9 Pie with One UI 1.1. Yung software na meron to guys is also the same sa software na ginamit the Galaxy S10 and also the A50. And what I like about it is yung software niya guys is very easy to use and marami kang options. Options kapag gusto niyang i-adjust yung interface ng phone. And what I really like about Samsung phones guys is yung mga... Of course, yung mga recently na nababas din na Samsung devices like A50, A30, A20, and even yung S-Series. Limited lang yung bloatware niya guys. Meaning, wala po siyang masyadong pre-installed apps kapag binuksan nyo compared to the other phones na in-unbox natin. 
Instead, this phone will allow you to choose kung ano yung mga apps na gusto nyong i-install kapag um, sinaset up niya na siya. Kanina nung set up ko siya, tinanong niya ako kung ano yung mga apps na gusto kong i-install na sa phone na to. And namili lang ako actually, which is a good thing kasi they let us decide kung ano yung mga gusto nating i-install na agad-agad. Now for the battery, meron po siyang again 4,500 mAh. And definitely, the Samsung Galaxy A70 will ensure us na magagamit talaga natin siya full day without charging. This phone, yung Samsung Galaxy A70, is the first ever phone or the first ever Samsung phone that supports 25 watts fast charging. Well, hindi po siya kasing bilis ng book or yung dash, pero, but at least mafu-full charge natin agad yung A70 ng within 2 hours lang. Finally, nasa end na tayo ng video, guys, and oras na para sagutin natin yung kanyang pros and cons, and kung nakuha nyo ba yung value for your money. For the pros, unang-una, what I really like about this phone is the screen. Now, for the screen, it has bright, vivid, and large Super AMOLED display. Also, the Samsung Galaxy A70 maintains the audio jack kasi with the A80, wala na po siya. Excellent battery life and the performance is really impressive. Good camera experience during the daylight. Daylight lang guys kasi ito na yung sa um, cons ko. Yung low light camera niya is quite unimpressive and no night mode. And lastly, no video stabilization. So, yun lang yung cons ko guys. Konting-konti lang. Actually, this phone guys, pwedeng-pwede natin siyang ipanglaban with the Vivo V15 Pro. Sadly, wala kasi ako noon. Hindi natin siya na-unbox. Nagka-problema pala tayo doon guys. Pasensya na nasa Pasensya na sa mga nag expect ng unboxing doon. And the Vivo V15 Pro has a more flashy designs, pop-up camera, yung colors niya. And yung pop-up camera ng Vivo, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And to answer your question, if you really did get the value for your money, yes. For me, it is worth your every penny. Kung hindi nyo afford yung S-Series, definitely go for the A70. Pero kung kayo yung tipo ng tao na maliit lang yung kamay, ayaw nyo ng malaki ng phone, ayaw nyo malaki yung screen, then go for the smaller version, which is yung A50. So, that's it for today's video, guys. Sana nag-enjoy kayo at sana marami na naman kayo natutunan. Yung next unboxing po natin is the OnePlus 7 Pro. Finally, may flagship phone na tayo nga unbox. Flagship? Na dating flagship killer, di ba? Anyway, teaser lang si OnePlus 7 Pro. Abangan nyo guys yung unboxing and review natin. So, if you did enjoy, give this video a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to my channel for more unboxing videos. So, bye guys and see you on my next video.